So hello everyone, this is Zoom Rakshul back again with the biggest announcements of CSIR 2022 exam. So finally we have some official news from CSIR expected month and in this video we are going to cover the expected date of CSIR 2022. We will also cover when will be the form released and what will be the strategy for CSIR 2022 exam since we have some days left for the exam. So how to prepare for this exam in that particular days. So without wasting time, let's start the video. So as you guys see that here, it's so the official Twitter handle of HRDC CSIR. And they have tweeted some four hours ago, the upcoming CSIR UGC NET exam will be conducted in association with DZ and TA in the month of September. So they have mentioned month of September. Exact details and the schedule will be shared in due course. So as of now, details and schedule is not shared and here you can see Dr. Jitain Singh is tagged education minister so it's a it's a official it's a finally we can say that it's a genuine okay so we have the month now as per my experiences as per past exam if you see it will be mostly conducted on the second Sunday of September that is 11th of September right now June is going on Okay, so if you see the strategy, we have 75 days left. Okay, like in June, we have three days. Then we have in July 31, 31 in the month of August and finally 10 days in September. So if you add them, it is around 75 days. Okay, I'm living today. Okay, so 75 days left for this particular exam. And if you are saying that my syllabus is already completed, then let me tell you very clearly you can't complete the entire syllabus of CSIR. It's impossible. Jo bhi ye bol raha hai na, kya hai? I have completed everything. Uh, ye kitna late kyun ho hai exam. Let me tell you very clear. Nahi kar sakte tum complete. It's very huge. Ho hi nahi sakta. Okay. So let's discuss the strategy. How to prepare for CSIR in 75 days. Kyunki abhi itna time hai na, you can be a topper. You can get a SPM fellowship if you want. So I will, I'm going to discuss everything regarding the same. But before that, here we have the best test series of CSIR in India. Hum ye dum proudly bol sakte because we are not into gate. We are not into GSI. We are not into some other exams. Our prime focus is CSIR. And we are having this much of content regarding CSIR only. Nobody is giving this much in such a small price, list price. Okay. And right now we are giving 6,000 of what else you want. So check out our description. There you will get the link of our website. Have the look. You are going to get everything. Asani se ho jayega. That's my promise. Okay. So let's see the strategy. How to start now? So, firstly, we have this geology and as per my experience, as per my discussion with the toppers, there are four main pillars of geology. The first one is petrology. In petrology, if you see, they sometimes combine geochemistry with petrology. Some igneous quotient, they will combine geochemistry too. So, when I'm talking to petrology, I'm discussing about geochemistry also. Okay. So, in petrology, the most important is sedimentology. Why sedimentology is most important? Because if you complete sedimentology in the geology section, you will also complete marine geology of oceanography. Okay, how? Because in marine geology, you will get a chapter called marine sediments. Okay, and here also in sedimentology, marine sediments are there. So sedimentology is the most important, then igneous and then metamorphic. Why igneous is more important? Because they, they relate this geochemistry question with the igneous petrology question. In, in JD Winter, you, you will come to know about this, these things. It is there. Then geomorphology. Why geomorphology is the, you know, on the second? Because geomorphology, geomorphology is having a wide variety of questions and it is there in marine geology too. In marine geology, there is a, there is a chapter called marine landforms. And here in, in geomorphology also, you will get marine landforms chapter. Eolian, fluvial, then uh, glacial, then marine landforms. <laughs> Class, topography, all those things are part of geomorphology. It is something which is easy to all. No matter if you belong to 
if you are not from geology also geomorphology you like it is something like that then tectonics and general geology now in tectonics you have geodynamics geotectonics general geology these three are very important and it is in the marine geology again because uh, there is a chapter called marine tectonics okay ocean tectonics so again this is very important geophysics now geophysics is a slight difficult because it is having more numericals than the theoretical questions and in case if you have this geophysics during your masters then only you will start if your master uh, during master if you you don't have this geophysics just leave it okay you can't complete geophysics from the very beginning in just 75 days you can lose uh, more more important chapters okay if you prepare for geophysics only so geophysics is for those students who have already completed the syllabus of uh, geophysics during masters and they have some at least some knowledge mm, the their background is from uh, maths and they like solving numericals for them only it is important except this there are other uh, pillars also like uh, uh, you have this stratigraphy now stratigraphy is important because they relate a stratigraphic question with planetology with the uh, economic geology like this time also they asked in gondwana which particular fossil is present which particular uh, coal type is present like that they ask keep asking so they relate any formation with uh, their fossils like planetology and they can ask the economic importance of that formation so if you can just complete stratigraphy you will somehow complete some part of planetology and some part of your uh, economic geology and then we have a structural so there is no need to go in detail in this structural just just classification and little bit of knowledge that's it not more than that and that's why we have made the study material so the best books of uh, these four main pillars and other subjects also we have converted into the summary form so there is no need to go through the entire jd winter 600 pages instead of that just go through 40 pages we have summarized the entire jd winter in 40 pages only what else you want so like that the best books whether it is from geology ocean atmosphere we have converted into summary then oceanography in oceanography the most important is physical oceanography by number wise also by question wise also number of questions from physical oceanography is the maximum and it is list in marine biology so the importance is like this physical oceanography first then marine geology then marine chemistry and then marine biology so if you are from geology background your marine geology is already completed over here only and marine chemistry is like having only one chapter and then marine biology is something where you have to buy heart a lot where you have to learn scientific names and that is very boring and they ask hardly 3 to 4 question so in case if you are from bio background if you like planetology and then only just go through marine biology otherwise you can leave it then climatology in climatology we have basic atmosphere and then meteorology so basic atmosphere is something which is easy to all okay and it is having some climate systems of uh, global or as well as india so basic atmosphere may you will have say structure of atmosphere heat budget then you have this uh, indian monsoon iod in so southern alarm all those topics are part of basic atmosphere then metrology metrology is something which is important but difficult and confusing too so here you have say uh, conditional stability stability fronts all those things are part of metrology okay these are difficult topics so you have to give more focus on metrology because the uh, above one is easy and then planetary uh, sciences in planetary sciences solar system is the most important i have already mentioned one book and i have already have uh, these topics in my study material so just go through it and numericals we have already solved 250 plus numerical whether it is from climatology metrology or oceanography on our course so in case if you didn't registered in our course have a look and with this i would like to say thank you to you all Good night everybody and best of luck for the exam if you need any help i am there to help you thank you very much